So with all your experience in the adult industry, what is, is there anything that you wish you had done differently? Is there anything that you know now that you wish you had known getting in? Um, uh, there's two, two big things I would have done differently. Um, well, well, two things I wish, I wish I could have known and stuff. Um, the first thing is, you know, I wish I would have thought more on not how the actions are going to impact my future, um, and how people are going to view me for it, but how the emotions are going to impact my connection with others. Mm. So I often think like as a CEO, you, you sometimes sacrifice hanging out with your kids. Um, I worry one of my biggest fears, uh, that I'm trying to get over is, um, did I sacrifice my, uh, emotional connection with people to do some of these firsts or to have true intimate passion with people for this type of career? Mm. Um, because while I've experienced passion on camera and had very, very beautiful, intimate moments, um, Adriana has gotten so big that it's a little hard to connect with anybody on my personal level now, like to meet somebody, you know, it, it, it sucks. Like if I go on a date, I, I often will get, uh, plan a date with somebody and then slowly the date will turn into being an hour later. Then it's, eight o'clock at night. Oh, meet me at a hotel. I get to the hotel. They just want to bang or, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's taken a lot of, a lot of, um, I guess a lot of intimacy from me. Like people don't give me the respect of giving that, giving me the treat a woman, how she should be treated moments. So that kind of sucks. Um, I'm hoping I'll get it. I have a fear, but you know, maybe as I grow and change, um, and get older, I'll find somebody to do those things with. And then um, if I could take anything back in my career, it'd be the public actions that I did that weren't for companies. Mm -hmm. So for instance, I squirted on an escalator. Mm -hmm. While that did a lot for my brand in the sense of making me catapult and people were like, wow, this is crazy. What I realize now is those moments are actually hindering me from, average society wanting to work with me because they only see, see me in that light. Mm-hmm. Um, they also hinder me in a sense where, you know, people think to do those type of things, you're a party or you're on drugs. Um, so I wish that I was able to see my brand when I was younger so I could understand the impact of my actions on my brand at all times. Yeah. So I could be a little more honed in because there's a difference in doing porn and and doing crazy things. And then there's also a difference between like living those crazy acts. Mm-hmm. So, and like now if I go out in public and I see girls, like I, I, I went to a party and these girls were like fucking in the middle of the street. And, you know, I was like that. So I can understand the freeing exhibition of it. But at the same time, like, I'm just like, some people don't want to see that. Now you're exposing it to them. Yeah. And, you know, like I kind of almost see some of the actions I had like as careless mm-hmm. because I didn't think about anybody else around me. I just did it for the fun of it. Mm-hmm. So I would have had a little more respect and a little more um, awareness for other people. Well, that's amazing. I mean, that you can like look back and grow as a person and and see like how, you know, you would do things differently now. Not yeah. everybody does that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I didn't see that I was making a brand at the time. Yeah. Right? Like, if I could have seen the power that Adriana as a brand has, I would have been like, oh, shit. Like, you can't act like that. But I was just so in the moment, you know, living for me, which is great. I had great times. But um, it's it's a little bit of a hindrance now. It's kind of one of those unfortunate things that you see, like, with today, especially with technology and cell phones and stuff. I think about you know, when I was young and I was in my early twenties and I was in college and all the stupid fucking shit that I did and, mm-hmm. um, you know, all of the things that I would never do now, but we didn't have cell phones around. I de- and I definitely wasn't like, you know, a performer or a star. I didn't have the eye of the world on me. Yeah. And so I could do all of these stupid things. I can grow and learn from them and they don't haunt me. But these days with technology, it's like everything that you do is online forever. And especially for yeah. you, like, you were, you know, a growing brand and you were a star and you had all these people watching you. So you had to go through all of this and learn all of these lessons in like the eye of the public. And that's going to yeah. be really tough. And I also wonder, um, 
I know like I know the actions I did in scenes and the, and the type of porn I did was for me. Mm-hmm. But I wonder I wonder if and I see a lot of my uh, actions off camera, my, a lot of my behavior wasn't for wasn't because of me. It was more of the hype of Adriana. Like I go out to a party and everyone's like, oh, Adriana's here. It's going to be fucking wild. Mm-hmm. And then I'm getting naked on a table because Adriana takes over the moment. And it's like, oh, well, everyone says it. And I'm getting cheered on, you know, where where I'm like, dang, did I do that because I wanted to? Or I did that because the ego that was built behind Adriana. Yeah. So, you know, and I think I think there's this weird, especially today, there's this weird, like, let's go viral thing, uh, yeah. which I kind of hate because I think a lot of people are trying to go viral for the wrong the wrong ra- reasons. Um, and it's creating this, like, really weird type of, you know, revolving media that that's that's not doing anything good for anybody besides yeah. just being crazy. Um, so I think I definitely contribute to, to some of that ugh, during my career. <laughs> yeah. 